Wow, what a crazy time we're having right now. In Ottawa, the real estate market is just going insane. Bidding wars all over the place. Let's break it down and get deep into the numbers. If we talk about overall 2018, we sold 2,032 units, both residential and condo, versus 2017, we'd only sold 1,788. That's an increase of 13.6% more units sold in the month of April. If we look at the numbers, the money about it, 417,150 is your average price versus last year it was 407. 482. So that's an increase of 2.3%, about $10,000 increase. Pretty significant. If we look at overall year to date, so far this year, at the end of April, we have sold 5,375 homes in real estate in Ottawa, both condo and residential. Versus last year, we had only got to 4,932 by this point. So that's an increase of number of sales of 9%. Okay, huge growth on the number of sales when we're looking overall. And if we talk about the money, it's gone up to 406, 221 from 390, 905. That's an increase of 3.77%. The money increases are being driven by the residential side, the number increases are being driven by the condo side. I'll break it down for you. If we look at just residential as a sub market, we look at 2018 for the month of April. 2018, we'd sold 1,616 homes. And in 2017, it had only been 1,476 homes. So that's an increase in number of sales of 9.5%. That's good, not great. If we look at the year to date number of sales, that's gone up by 5.6% as well. But if we talk about the money, the average price of a house, residential, not condo, in Ottawa is 455,000 versus last year was 356. That's a significant increase of about 4.2%, okay? Now, if we look at the year to date increase, we're at 444 and change right now versus last year we were at 420. That's a 5.8% increase. Okay, the, the, the overall story in the residential world right now is that the bidding wars are driving the prices up. The lack of inventory is driving the prices up. Of the 1,616 homes that we'd sold, over 600 of them sold at list price or over. All right, that's, that's pretty huge. I mean, that's more than a third of the homes are selling over or at list price. Even homes that have been on the market for more than a year are still getting the list price. And it's a silly list price, like ending in 672, and they get the list price of you know ending in 672, and all the first three numbers were the same too, um, which is great on the res side. The condo side, a little bit different. Uh, what we're seeing, <coughs> excuse me, is number of homes sold has gone up, okay? So we sold 416 homes in April versus last year we had sold 312 in the month of April, which is an increase of 33.3%, huge increase, but the price only has gone up by 0.3%, all right? The price only went up to 269 from last year was 268.5. Now, if we look at the year to date, so all of the homes that we've sold up until the end of April, we've sold 1,196 condos versus last year, we had only sold 976 condos. So that's still an increase of 22%, but we still only see that same increase of 0.3%. So we're not getting the same jump in the condo market that we'd seen, even though we're selling more uh, uh, condos, which is good for the people who haven't been able to sell. And I mean, if you look at the last three, four years, condo prices had been going down. So this is good news that they're at least level. All right, the story really on the condo side is that there's more sold, the value is steady. Okay, so if you're looking at all of this and what does it all mean to you if you're selling or if you're buying, how do you determine the right strategy if you're both selling and buying, if you're selling a condo and buying a house, if you're buy, uh, selling a house and buying a condo, what does it all mean? Let's sit down and chat, okay? The market is changing. You need to develop a strategy and be able to move your strategy based on what are the moving pieces that are coming in and affecting you and your family. Call me today at 613-314-3187 and until then, Stifire out.